buying steak, there are four prime cuts to choose from. Sirloin, scotch, rump and fillet. The most important thing to remember though is always look for the Quality Mark logo. It's your guarantee of lean, tender beef and lamb. Season the steak just prior to cooking and I always trim my steak before I cook it. Take a little oil, sprinkle that on and massage the seasoning into the steak. Then pop it into a hot pan. And of course, don't forget now to season the other side. Now because our steak is really thick for this recipe, I'm going to cook it on a medium high heat, not too hot. We're going to cook it for about five minutes before we turn it over. Now while the steak is cooking, whip up this kind of cheats Thai style dressing. First of all, take some of your favourite vinaigrette. Add in some sweet chilli sauce. Add a little sharpness with some lime juice and rind and the tang that will give you an authentic Thai flavour is fish sauce. If you don't like it, it's okay to leave it out. And of course, coriander. Seal it, make sure it's tight, and give it a shake. And there's your dressing. Once the steak is cooked, transfer it to a plate to rest and cover with foil. Now it's most important that you leave your steak to rest for about five minutes. First of all, it will continue to cook just a little bit, and secondly, it allows all the juices to come back into the meat so that it's lovely and tender when you carve it. For our Thai-style salad, you need noodles. Now, you can either have rice noodles like these or egg noodles. Either way, about 250 grams. Then, about one pepper and one cucumber, half a red onion, some lovely mint leaves, I like to keep them whole, and also some spring onion. And don't forget the dressing and just toss it all together. Now to serve our dish, we're going to pile our salad onto a plate and slice the beef and arrange it on top. Transfer the salad to a lovely deep serving platter. Now, we'll finish it with the beef finely sliced on top. Our meat is beautifully rested and there are juices on the plate. Don't throw them out, we'll pour them over the salad just before we serve. Now to carve the meat, I'm going to cut it across the grain. That way, it will be far more tender to eat. And secondly, I'm going to cut it on an angle so I get lovely thick, wide slices. Garnish with some honey roasted peanuts or cashew nuts. And of course, a little fresh coriander will just add a lovely touch of colour. And those juices. This is where we pour them over, just before we serve. Your taste of Thailand in no time at all. Enjoy. Here's some terrific tips for a tasty Thai beef salad. The best beef steaks need to be a minimum of two centimetres thick. Where possible, always cook your steak from room temperature. Season the steak just prior to cooking. For the very best flavoured steak, always cook it over a high heat. And for a juicy, tender steak, always allow the steak to rest before serving. When slicing the steak to add to a salad, always cut across the grain. It will be far more tender to eat.